Hi everyone, today we're going to teach you how to use the microwave for synthesis. First, we're going to start by teaching you the parts of the microwave. This here is our microwave. This is the glass tube that you load your reaction into. This is the jacket that the tube goes into. Here is one of the caps and the second cap. Neither of these caps screw on or click, they're both just loose. This is a support module that the entire vessel is loaded into. Each of these support modules has a place on the carousel and the carousel spins in the microwave. The tallest one here is the control vessel which records the temperature using this probe. Once all of the support modules are on the carousel, this ring is placed on top to hold each of the support modules in place. Now we're going to show you how to load a reaction into the vessel. So sometimes you will load the reaction directly into the glass tube. And sometimes you will load the reaction into a small vial with a cap. This vial is then placed into the glass tube. It's slid in at an angle to prevent any liquid that might be in your reaction from jumping up and touching the cap. This entire tube is then placed inside of the jacket and the two caps are placed on top. You want to make sure that this small white vent is completely shut. So you want to tighten it as much as you can. Then you place it inside of the support module and you need to tighten the cap as much as you can. So first you hand tighten it and then you use a wrench to continue tightening it. You know that you're done tightening once you hear a clicking noise? Sounds like that. Next, we're going to place the support module onto the carousel. So each of the support modules slides into place by a number. Make sure you record the number and position of your vessel and reaction in your notebook. So it is important to make sure that the carousel is balanced much like a centrifuge. So there is like a counterbalance on each side. Also, you want to make sure in your control vessel, which is the tallest one, that you have the same type and amount of solvent in this glass tube as you have in your reaction. Also, this screw on top is only hand tightened, it is not cranked. Once all of the support modules are on the carousel, you place this ring over the tops of all of them. There's a small space for the control vessel and then you turn it slightly so that it's touching the edge and this holds all of the support modules in place. The final thing before we're ready to put it in the microwave is the temperature probe. The temperature probe is inserted through this small hole in the top of this screw and is gently pushed and wiggled down to the bottom You'll feel it touch the bottom of the glass and that's where you want to stop. You have to be very careful with this probe because it is extremely fragile. To turn on the microwave, the only thing you have to do is flip this switch. And now the power is on. In order to open the microwave door, there is a button on the top right. When you push it, the microwave Open. Next, we're going to put the turntable into the microwave with all of the loaded vessels. So you see here, there is a blue line that cuts across the 12, 13, and 14, and it's straight. You want to make sure that that flat line is facing you. Next, you're going to pick up the carousel, walk it over to the microwave, and you see that that straight line lines up here so that the carousel locks in, just like that. And now it can rotate freely. 
The probe has a small cap that needs to come off and is inserted in this small blue cylindrical thing until it clicks. And then it is loaded into the microwave. So you can shut the door and proceed to select a method. In order to select a method, we have to go to load method and you press this button here, select, user directory, select, and then you can use the up and down arrows to scroll through and choose a method. So we're going to select 45 degrees Celsius at 90 minutes. And then you press select. And then when you get back to this screen, all you have to do is press the green triangle for play. If you would like to create your own method, there is another video on how to do that. And also, when you first press the play button, there's a five minute warm up period and a 15 minute cool down period after your run. So for every run you put into the microwave, you have to add 20 minutes to the runtime in order to have an accurate timing of how long it will be inside the microwave. So once the run is over, you can open the microwave door. If you press zero, the loud sound stops. <laughs> so first, you need to unplug the probe from the blue cylindrical thing. You'll hear another click. You can just let that go. And then you can pick up the turntable and remove it from the microwave. It is very important that you take the probe out and return it to its case ASAP so that you do not break it because it is very fragile. Once the probe is back in this case, you can continue. So you'll need to remove the ring and take out the support module that contains your reaction. And then you need to go to a hood with a wrench and you're going to vent this small white cap away from you inside the hood. This is because it's releasing pressure and if it happens to vent quickly or do other unexpected things, you do not want it to be facing you. Once the white vent is completely loosened, use the wrench to loosen the screw on top. Once you get it loose enough, you can just undo it a little bit. You don't have to take it out. You can remove the vessel, the two caps, You can take the reaction out, and here it is, completely reacted. It is also important after the run to make sure you empty and clean your control vessel. So in a similar way, we need to unscrew the white cap in the hood facing away from us. And then this one's only finger tightened, so we can unscrew the top, turn the little arm, you can take the vessel out. This one has a more complex lid, but it still comes off. And then you would want to empty and clean this piece.